Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beaded bracelet. So this that I'm showing you is Tiger Tail. Um, I've chosen a pink one so that you can see it better. Um, but it does come, normally you would use it in silver. But you can get it in all different sorts of colours. Um, and this is what we'll be stringing our beads onto. Um, these are 6mm um, jump rings and this is what we'll use to attach our clasps to. Um, this is an extender chain that we will cut down to size. This is a lobster claw clasp and this is a 12mm. Um, this is a toggle clasp. Again, another. I'm going to show you two different types of closures. Um, this, these are wire guards and we use these at the end of the wire. We also use these at the end of the wire, these are collots, um, just a different type and they protect the wire. And then these are your crimp beads and these are what um, keep everything in place. So onto our tools, these are our chain nose pliers, then we have our cutting pliers. We then have our bent nose pliers. And we have our round nose pliers. Really sorry for the noise if you can hear anything. That's actually my dog, <laughs> um, Quincy, trying to get out of the room. Uh, so these are 6mm pink pearls. And I also have some 6mm grey pearls. Um, I love pearls. They all look so pretty. Um, and then these are um, 4mm clear glass bicones and they are 4mm and um, so they're the beads I'm going to be using I'm going to be doing two bracelets today and um, so I can show you two different ways of how to end and start your bracelets um, so you're going to start off by getting your um, tiger tail and you want to cut off the bent bit of the end um, and then you want to we're going to be making um, a seven and a half inch bracelet, I think uh, it is that we're going to be making. So where that little bend is where the wire's been connected, you want to cut that off. And then you want to measure um, nine inches. Or is it eight? Oh, I'm measuring eight inches, sorry. So you'll have an eight inch piece of wire and this will create a seven and a half inch bracelet. So to start off, so the first way I'm going to be showing you is with a collot. And this is your collot and it's like a, it's also known as a clamshell. And what you're going to do, that hole just in the centre, you want to put it, your wire through it. Once you've got your wire through it, you then want to get yourself a crimp bead and place that on. Now you can get crimp and pliers, um, I tend not to use them. Um, I can't really use them very well so I end up using these chain nose pliers um, and what you want to do is bring it to the end and squish it and you want to squish it as hard as you can because this is what's going to hold um, that clamshell onto the um, onto the end like so you're then going to get your round nose pliers and where that loop is um, you just want to make it more into a loop like that and then you want to close it completely using your bent nose pliers or you can use your chain nose pliers if you would like to. So there you have it, so there's one end complete. So then you're going to open up your jump ring um, and you'll need two pairs of pliers for this and you want, in, you want to pull them apart, no sorry, you want to twist them, don't pull them apart, if you pull them apart you are going to weaken it. So you want to twist them so that they open like so. Um, thread on your end and then put on whichever closure you would like. In this case it's going to be the toggle clasp. And then you want to close it so that um, the ends meet nicely and all is smooth and there's no gaps. So once we've done this, um, what you want to do is you want you then want to do your pattern um, and place your beads on. So what I'm doing is I'm doing one 4mm bicorn followed by a 6mm pearl 
followed by a bicorn, followed by a pearl and so on. And when it's finished, um, I will go through the end stages. So once you've started doing your beading, you want to measure. Now you want to measure from the end of your clasp right up until the last bead. And you want for a seven and a half inch bracelet, you want it to be seven inches um, worth of beads. Like that. So that's what you would have. Um, once you've done this, we'll then um, close it off. So I'll just move the ruler out the way. So you want to get yourself a clot and what you want to do is you want to open it fully. So you just want to pull it flat like that. And this makes it easier for you to get your pliers in to squish that crimp bead. So you place that on first, then you get yourself a crimp bead, place the crimp bead on like so. And then you want to let that fall down. Now what I do is I get hold of my bracelet and I bring it up so that it curves. Um, this way you're not going to have it too tight and there's going to be just that, uh, just enough room uh, movement without it breaking. So then you want to squish that crimp bead shut like that and then we're going to trim uh, the tiger tail off. So using my um, cutting pliers, just snip that away. Then we're going to close up the clot using our pliers, but first I'm going to do the, sorry for going on camera, we're just going to put that loop in like that and then we're going to close up the clot completely. Like so. So now that it's completely closed, as you can see, we're going to put on the second half of our clasp. So we're going to get two lots of pliers again and we're going to um, open up our jump ring. Like so. When the camera decides to focus. There we go. We're then going to um, get our bracelet and place it on the collot that we've just done and do our toggle clasp. Now that they're both on we're going to close that jump ring so that it's got a nice tight snug fit so there's no gap and it sits um, nice and evenly together. You can then close up your bracelet and your bracelet is done.
So now when we measure the bracelet, it will come at eight if you go from um, the end to the end. But always remember that with a toggle clasp, um, you need to really measure from about halfway into the toggle clasp itself and then it'll be a seven and a half inch bracelet. So the next kind of bracelet that I'm going to show you how to do, it's going to be the same pattern except I'll be using the silver pearl beads, but we're going to be using the um, wire guards. Now for this one you want 10 inches worth of wire. Um, so cut yourself a 10 inch piece of wire off. We are then going to pick up our wire guard, so there it is, and a crimp bead. And what you want to do is, you want to put your crimp bead on first. And on the wire guard, you will notice that there is two holes. So you need to go up from the bottom through the first wire guard. So from one side, like so. So, then you want to come um, around and go through the other hole of the wire guard and you can use your pliers for this, um, actually I would advise it because it can be quite fiddly and then that end of the wire you then want to put through that um, crimp bead that we put on at the start. So you want it all to go um, through. You're then going to pull that bead right up so that it connects and I tend to use my pliers to sort of pull it up. Um, it gives you a better hold and then once you've pulled it up you want to squish it into place and then that secures that onto your wire. We're then going to do um, put our clasp on. Now this time we're going to use the lobster clasp and the um, extender chain and we're going to cut the extender chain to two inches. So open up your, um, if you want to open up your jumper like so. You then want to place the wire guard on and then you want to place on your extender chain. You don't have to use extender chain, you can just use another jump ring, so have two jump rings on. Um, it's entirely up to you. But I find that if you are selling bracelets, then an extender chain um, makes it more open to um, a lot more buyers. People's wrists tend to range from around six and a half inches up to nine inches. So there you go, so that's one end of the bracelet done. We're then going to put on our beads. So again, it's going to be the clear bicone first. And then we're going to put on a silver gray bead and follow that pattern. When you put your first bead on, make sure that that loose end goes into your first bead. Um, and it just makes it tidier. So put all your beads on and then we'll I'll show you what to do at the end.
So you want to have about six and a half to six and three quarters worth of um, beads onto your wire. Once you've done that, you're then going to put on a crimp bead followed by um, the other wire guard. So there's a crimp bead. Now we're going to put on the wire guard. So we go up one side, so through the first hole, bring it round and go down through the second hole. You th and then pull and then you want to go back through that crimp bead and then this time once you've gone back through that first crimp bead you also want to go through that first bead so that's through the crimp bead and then through the first bead it can be a bit fiddly as you can see but um, it should go through. So once you've done that, you can, if you pull on your wire, um, it will move the, the crimp bead down if you hold on to the wire card like so. And then that gives you a nice snug fit so there's not much, so you haven't got any wire showing within your beads. You then want to close up your crimp bead so give it a good squish, like so. And then you want to come in with your cutting pliers and you want to trim off that extra um, tiger tail that you have left. And then if you can, there's normally always a little tiny piece um, bit that you can see. Um, if you move it and do a little twist like I'm doing there, it does normally go into your second bead so then you can't see it. So there you have it, your bracelet is now secure. So now what you want to do is you want to open up your next jump ring, like so. Then you want to get your lobster claw clasp and you want to put the jump ring, your lobster clasp onto the jump ring and then put the wire guard on and close up that jump ring. So there you have it, two bracelets done, a pink pearl beaded bracelet and a silver pearl beaded bracelet. Um, I hope you found this tutorial um, informative and I hope that it um, is very useful and you get um, a few tips from it. If you do have any questions please do leave them in the comment section below and I'll do everything I can to answer them. I will leave all the items that I have used in the description box um, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video and for supporting me and hopefully I will see you very soon in the next um, in my next video until then happy crafting goodbye for now bye